Hey guys, uh, Coach G. I just want to say thank you to all of you guys for the overwhelming um, show of love and support and encouragement from all of you guys. It means the world to me. Um, thank you for all of your messages. Thank you for all the well wishes and the prayers about my dad as he's uh, is in the hospital right now. And um, you know, just so first, like, thank you all. I am okay. Um, many of you have heard me say this before that I have known this day is coming for a long, long time. I have known that any day now. I can say this for for 20 years now. For 20 years, I have known any day now the phone call will come through that my dad has had a heart attack, and it's not looking good. Today was that day. My dad has had a heart attack, and it's not looking good. But they have him at the hospital, and he's stable, and they're gonna do what they can. They are. Uh, did some operations today, and they're going to, they're, they just been doing more on Friday, so right now the whole family is just doing a waiting game, where it's a lot of sitting in the hospital, staring at walls and waiting. We can't even wait in the same place as my dad, since he's still technically like, they're still redressing him after surgery, and and he's you know, recovering from surgery, so can't even see him right now. Um, so it's just a waiting game. And what will probably become of this, like my dad will probably die. He will probably, there's very little chance that he will survive this. The doctors have been very clear with us about that, but I knew that that was the case even before the, the doctors validated that for us and, um, and so like we know it's gonna happen it's almost certainly going to happen but we do know this also that in the meantime he's got the absolute best medical care possible at Barnes Jewish I'm confident in that I, I went to I went to my, my grad school I, I, I've been strongly connected to the WashU medical community for a long time. I absolutely trust if there was any place that my dad should be for medical care, it's WashU. And I have the utmost confidence that the doctors there will take care of him and that will give him the best of what's possible in these, you know, these last days. Um, I'll be at the gym tonight. Um, it's it's going to help me to, to get out of the hospital for a little bit and be with my extended CrossFit family. It's going to help me to, to, to do that tonight. Um, I will be right back to the, to the hospital again right after. Um, so uh, thank you all again. And I do want to say that uh, every single thing that my dad is going through right now uh, is this is all preventable health stuff like so much of chronic disease the the diabetic stuff the diabetic ketoacidosis heart attacks heart disease all of this is preventable stuff and guys you have the power to see to it that it never happens to you and if you're a parent, you have the opportunity to teach your kids what they need to know so it never happens to them. And I think it's just a good opportunity for all of us to take stock and be grateful for the good things that we have in our lives. And if we do have good health, let's be grateful for that. Let's send our Lord our thanks and our gratitude and send him all the glory for all the good things that we enjoy. I think that, you know, when my dad, like when, when his final hour finally has arrived, that I, I know this, I, I really believe in my heart and soul, he's psychologically, physically, emotionally, mentally ready to move on. Um, he has been, the way that he's talked, the way that he's acted for many, many years, 
my dad is ready to be done with this life and go on to the next life. So I take some consolation in knowing that emotionally and mentally he was ready, that today's moment is not robbing him of tomorrow's, but it's, it's giving him the opportunity to close one door and open another door that he's been ready to step through for a while. So I take I take peace, I have peace in my heart with what is, and I hope that you guys do also. Again, I love you all. Thank you all for all you do. And um, I keep the prayers coming. I will see you guys at CFH.